I'm in the ghetto. I don't deserve to have to do this to myself every day. Oh, y'all. Oh, I look crazy. I keep having this breakout on my chin. I don't know what the hell that means. It only comes on my chin. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, it is Friday. I'm off. Y'all know I don't work Fridays as of right now. I do not work on Fridays. Um, that'll be probably changing in the next few months. But anyway, I'm about to go run some errands. And I have something kind of exciting coming up later. I'll probably tell you guys a little bit more about it later in the video. But yeah something kind of exciting but anyway i'm about to go to walmart and try to catch some of these deals um i was just watching some videos when i was in the gym of people finding like hidden deals on like food and stuff so i'm about to go see if my walmart has these same deals so we'll see okay so i'm a little disappointed the deal that i saw on that youtube or not for this particular store i'm in i can probably go to another walmart and they might be good for that store walmart is weird they can have a sale at one location five minutes down the street it's not another location so it's annoying and i'm not going to multiple walmarts today but i did find some great clearances i'm just going through everything in my basket face mask makeup everything is under 50 cents so i'm just scanning with the walmart app trying to see what all i can get okay that shopping trip was kind of a bust but i did find a lot of makeup for like super super cheap let me show y'all can you see can y'all see no y'all can't see y'all can see all the makeup was like 25 cent 25 cent 75 cent i bought some that was a dollar as you can see but those were originally like six bucks don't look at the donuts here at the top <laughs> i bought look at the face mask sheet masks 25 cents each girl yeah look just mm. so i'm about to head home I really wish I can go get a car wash. It is so nice outside today. Like this is the first like beautiful day that we've had in a few days. It's been freezing cold. It's been raining. It's just been nasty. And I'm like on my off day, it's the, the best day of the week. So, but I need to hurry and get home and get ready. And I'm just kind of behind schedule a bit. Dang, I, yeah. It's 11 o'clock. I don't have time to go get my car washed. I have to do that later or tomorrow. Y'all, I just got home. Don't judge me. Why are these so good? And they only sell this pack at Walmart. If you want to get these, these are like those crunch donuts. If you want to get them anywhere else, they only sell them at gas stations and like that, you know, that roll pack. Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, mm, it's simple. And it's 11.20. It's 40 minutes before I'm supposed to start eating. On my way out of Walmart, they have McDonald's inside the Walmart by us. I stopped and got paper bags because I didn't know that grocery stores don't do paper bags anymore. Like I thought... You usually get an option, even though most people use plastic bags. I thought you still had like an option of paper bags. But anyway, Walmart don't have paper bags. I had to stop at McDonald's, got paper bags. Did y'all know that? Oh shit! Oh, them bangs just killed me. Oh, that's what I get for eating them three little donuts. But um, did y'all know that paper bags and an iron get wax off your carpet? So I have had candle wax on my carpet for about a year now, I wanna say. Yeah, like a year. And I'm about to try this little hack out. I watched a few YouTube videos on it and it's supposed to get it like right up. Okay, so this is the candle wax and that. So what I was doing was when I changed out the candle wax in my little heater, I would dump it in my trash and it melted through the bag, duh. And got all of my carpet. So we're going to try it out and see. I'm not about to do it just right this second. But I'm about to straighten up. I'm about to take a shower. And then 
I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I got going on that's kind of like a little, kind of exciting and cool. Stores and see what they have in clearance. A lot of the Dollar General uh, store employees don't have time to move stuff over in the clearance section. Let me turn off my clearance shopping video. Y'all know I love watching couponing and clearance shopping videos. But anyway, just to let you guys know what I am getting ready for, I was contacted by a reality show on a really, really big network. Um, and they were interested in having me on this show. Not nothing ratchet, not nothing, want to be fighting and all that. No, it's... um. It's a reality show, and if if I do get picked for it, I will tell you guys more about it. Um, I've already made it past like the first part of it, which was them contacting me, doing a phone interview. I had to um, answer like all these questions. They sent me another questionnaire um, that I had to email back to them, and that took me like an hour to fill out. Um, so this, I guess, is like phase two of that, where I have to basically dress up. I need to get dressed, do my hair, do my makeup, and I'm having a Skype interview, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's an interview with um, one of the producers of the show. So yeah, so it's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's exciting. I didn't think I wanted to do it at first. When they first contacted me, I'm like, hmm, no. Then I had talked to Herb about it and he was like, you know, I mean, it might be cool just for some exposure. And I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe just for some exposure. We'll see, you know, but um, so, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for, ready to do. Uh, I have about 45 minutes before my time. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes. They said it's going to be about an hour. So I'm like, oh, goodness gracious. So just, you know. Something cool that I'm doing. Um, why they picked me, I don't know. They're filming in Houston, so maybe that's it. Maybe somebody gave them my information. I didn't ask. I'm, let me draw my moles. I have real moles here, so I just like highlighting them. And no, the reality show will not be based around Gina. It's It will be like a whole cast of people, so... Um, so that would be, that's good. Cause I'm like, I don't know how I would carry a whole reality show by myself because my life ain't fun. My life is boring. So that's the outfit that I'm wearing back there. Um, it's just like a little sweater, midi skirt and a crop top turtleneck sweater. I don't know, I'm like that's good without showing off too much. <laughs> so yeah i need to pick out which wig i'm gonna wear i'm like hmm do i do something just straight and sleek or do i do my normal curly hair i don't know so but anyways i got 45 minutes 42 minutes actually so let me go i'm gonna catch back up with you guys once i'm fully ready or once i'm done with the interview so see you guys in a few all right, I am done. This is the final look. Now what they required was dress how you would dress if you were going on a date. So I think they just want me to look like sexy, but not too sexy and not casual. So that's the way I took it. They were like, do your hair, do your makeup and put on an outfit like you were going on a date. So let me show you guys <laughs> and let me explain my outfit. Okay. Okay, lighting, come on. All right, so this is just like a sweater set. So I'm dressing for the weather. It's been freezing cold in Houston, especially at night, it's been in the 30s. So I'm dressing for the weather. This lighting won't let me be great. But anyway, it's like a chestnut color, two piece sweater set. I feel like it shows off my curves without showing too much. It shows just a little bit of skin here with just some uh, boots and then, Y'all excuse my mess, I'm having a closet sale. Matter of fact, check me out on Instagram if y'all wanna buy some of the stuff that y'all see hauled in my videos. But anyway, and then just this little black mini purse and then a straight wig. So the lighting is terrible. 
Well, the lighting in here is actually good, but they wanted me to be in a well-lit area so they can see really well. So that's why there's so much light and then I couldn't get the footage very good. But anyway, so this is what I'm working with. Hopefully it looks nice. Hopefully this is like date appropriate and not like looking like I'm going to church. So we shall see. I got about 13 minutes before they're supposed to call. So I'm just trying to get my nerves down. I need to take a shot, really. Who, y'all? Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm done with that the interview thing. I don't need y'all to see me because I just got undressed. I am sweating like crazy. Let me turn it off. Can y'all see me? Anyway, that was crazy. Just all the questions, the whole process I had to go through. It was pretty cool speaking with one of the producers. And um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'll get more into it um, once I hear something back from them. Just, um, but I feel like I'm going to be a good candidate for the show. I think I'll be entertaining. So, we shall see. But, y'all, I am doing. Oh my God, this is my last. Oh. I'm doing the paper bag thing where if you drip um, candle wax on your carpet, the paper bag is supposed to take it off with a hot iron too. So on YouTube, of course it's coming out so easily. With me, it's taking like some muscle. So let me show y'all. So that's one of the stains so far this one i gave up on because i think it's just messed up but this one's gotten a lot better a whole lot better so let me show y'all what i'm doing so you put the paper bag on top of it you get the hot iron and you do that and it soaks up the oil so you see that it soaks up the oil Then you move it to another section and it just keeps soaking up the oil. So it's supposed to come completely off. It does not look like it, that's going to happen, but we'll see. I sure hate that I forgot to bring my camera with me, so we back vlogging on my phone. Anyway, y'all see that pile of clothes back there? Right there, yes. And there's a trash bag right beneath it. So I'm headed to Play-Doh's Closet. Y'all know how I do with the Play-Doh's Closet. I'm going to be complaining after they don't give me shit for my stuff. But I'm going to Play-Doh's Closet and I'm also having a closet sale on Instagram tonight for like my good, good stuff. You know, that's just like BS that I'm selling to Play-Doh's Closet. And then whatever I don't sell for Play-Doh's, I'm going to give away and then give some to Goodwill so but yeah let's go see if they're gonna play me or not if they're gonna give your girl a couple dollars or what so I know it's gonna be a bad buy because as soon as I walked in the girl was like oh before you even sit your stuff down I just want to let you know we're only looking for rodeo wear jeans jean jackets and cowboy boots and rodeo belt buckles I'm like Okay, girl, I got jeans in there. I got some belts in there too, some boots. Like, come on, look through my stuff. You might see something else that you like. Like, ugh, like just, I don't know. And then the lady that was behind me, she was like, ugh, like why she got an attitude? I don't think they like when people come in and like they have to do work, so I don't know. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. I, I bet, I can almost bet money on it. She's gonna grab stuff besides rodeo wear. Well, I'm back. And after about six minutes, I get the text saying your buy is ready. And I'm like, it's only been like six minutes. So she either didn't go through my stuff or she, I don't know, because she had a little attitude, like I said. But anyway, she when I went back in there and they're, they were like, oh, we didn't see anything. She did not go through my stuff at all because I know what was like sitting right on top and I know like how I laid everything and folded everything she literally didn't go through anything she probably just lifted up peeked and then just said no 
but it's all right it's whatever that's the gamble you take and i don't know why she had an attitude or what I, like i said it just seemed like she didn't feel like doing any work because as soon as we walked in she was like oh i'm gonna we only taking rodeo stuff and when, when me and the other lady were like okay well you can still look through our stuff she kind of like rolled her eyes so yeah she didn't she didn't look through our stuff it's all right it's cool i'm gonna try one more play-doh's closet probably tomorrow and then whatever I don't sell, just give it away because um, I ain't about to be just driving all over town, going to different play those closets, hoping they buy my stuff. Mm -mm, not going to do that. So I'm about to go pick up the kids, I guess. Think about what I'm going to do for dinner. And yeah. Look who has their, ah! look who has their face mask on. I bought a bunch of kid face masks. Oh, yeah, it's dripping on your neck. Told ya. You're going to be beautiful. You're already beautiful, but you're going to be... Don't roll your eyes at me. All right, so it's way later in the day. I'm about to cook dinner. I have some shrimp thawing out. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm going to make some greens. Glory greens are the best thing smoking. If you can't get your hands on some real fresh greens, glory greens are the shit. And then I just have some yellow rice. I'm debating if I'm gonna eat any yellow rice or if I'm just gonna make myself some cauliflower rice or zucchini noodles. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do. But that rice, that rice cooker right there, it takes a little while, especially yellow rice. Something about yellow rice, it's like you do the setting twice for it to go through, for it to be like the right texture for the rice to be cooked properly. So anyway, I'm about to just sit on the couch, chill, probably look at some YouTube videos on my plants dying. Look at it, my plants dying. I was given that for Christmas and um, didn't ask for it. Didn't ask for something live that I would have to take care of. So yeah, it's dying. The next day. Another day at the gym. Just did cycling class. Now I'm about to do the treadmill and the stairs. There you go. all day we went to two different play closets they actually gave me a little bit of money today i got like 60 dollars i want to say so the rest is being given away i'm not about to ride around with this stuff in my trunk anymore and um so yeah i'm like six dollars is better than nothing i think i'm about to take the kids maybe to get some ice cream i'm not sure yet i might be tempted to get some myself but um so that's on the way home. Then after that, I'm going home. I need to lay down. I'm tired. I only had seven hours of sleep last night. That might sound like a lot to y'all, but your girl is tired. And I went to the gym today and worked out for an hour and a half. So yeah, I need to rest and relax. I have a house party to go to tonight and I need all my energy for that. So all right, I was just checking in with you lovely people. In half a mile, exit right, then stay to the about to head out to the party this is what i got on just a little hot miami styles little outfit curly hair today yeah
Y'all, I just had to excuse myself from the breakfast table. We were pretty much done eating, just sitting talking, but, um, oh, I just got emotional real quick. Um, my daughter was talking about my mom and, you know, my daughter still talks about her like she's here. She doesn't use past tense. So something about the way she was talking about her, just, it really struck something in me and I just broke down, you know. <clears throat> It's been a year and a half now and you know, that pain, that hurt does not get easier, especially when it comes to your kids. You know, you look at your kids and you're like, they're so young right now. These memories that they're sharing about her, I just hope that they don't ever forget them, you know. She passed when my daughter was five, almost six. My daughter was about to be six and my son was um, seven. So, you know, it's just, They're just, I just don't want them to ever forget about her. That's why I just keep so many pictures up. They have pictures of her in their rooms. We always talk about her. I have, you know, pictures of her in my house. You know, I just don't want them to, to forget her. They were around her so much. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that those memories still stick, you know. My grandmother died when I was 10 and um, she lived in Chicago. We were here in Houston, so. I still have memories of her. I remember the way her hands felt. I remember, you know, when she would kiss me. You know, I just, I, rem I remember those things about her. Um, but of course I was a lot older than the age my kids are, so. Oh, y'all. And Herb, he just had to just hold me. He just grabbed onto me. He just held me and, you know. Yeah, that pain of losing a parent, of, you know, who is like your best friend. Yeah, that hurt just never goes away. So I'm just laying here in bed. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything today. It's gonna be a very <laughs> unproductive day. I'll probably do some laundry and maybe run to the grocery store for dinner, but um, that's about it. I'm just gonna kinda lay here and just chill, relax. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope y'all like spending the weekend with me. Sorry I had to end it on such like a sad, somber note, but you know, that's life. And I show y'all pretty much all aspects of my life. But I love you guys and hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.